here at Lenny and Joe's Fishtail in Westbrook, Connecticut to give you an inside look at this restaurant icon. Let's take a look inside to give you a different perspective on Lenny and Joe's Fishtail. Lenny and Joe's has a rich history. We sat down with Joe Goldberg, an owner of the Fishtail, to discuss the restaurant's growth and evolution. We first opened in 1979 in Madison in a clam shack, a little white building with four picnic tables. We were there for two years, and then in 1981 we went into our first family restaurant, which is on Route 1 in Clinton. It was 70 seats, and then we were open year-round in that location. Uh, in 1986, we moved into our current Westbrook location, which has about 150 seats, counting our patio, and we're now open also year-round. In 1989, we re rebuilt the shack in Madison, so it gets a little confusing. And uh, that, again, continued to be counter service, but with a lot more indoor seating, a pavilion seating, and a lot more room for picnic tables outside. What are the locations, and how many years have the locations been open? Okay, well, let's see, we'll sort that through for you. <laughs> Madison was first opened in 1979. We rebuilt in 89, and in 99, we had a very big expansion. We were able to buy more land, and in 1999, to celebrate our 10th year of our expansion, we also put in a carousel, which is um, run as the charity arm of both locations. So we've been there since 79, running continuously, but sort of with different operations. The family restaurant started in uh, 1981 in Clinton and we moved to Westbrook in 86. And of course this restaurant is open year round and so it's been operating since 1981 continuously. Where did the inspiration for Lenny and Joe's come from? Let's see, you know when we first opened we were not Lenny and Joe's, we were a uh, fish tail. And we just were kicking around names all the time and I think we were somewhere out of state when we saw a place called Fish Fable. It was a sea mark, a seafood uh, market. And we just kept playing with the name and suddenly Fable became Tail, T-A-L-E. And it played nicely off the um, sort of having, you know, a tail of a fish. And then a couple years later we found out that a restaurant started almost the same time with us in California with the same name. So our legal brain trust advised that we put the name Lenny and Joe in front of Fishtail and that's how we became Lenny and Joe's Fishtail. What amounts of people are served every day? Ooh, well, on a busy weekend, we like to brag now that 10,000 people can go through the two locations uh, in the summer months. Obviously, we have our real quiet times of year. We have our quiet Monday nights. But on, on busy weekends now, we can really literally have thousands of people go through the two locations. We come here to eat every time we come to Westbrook. We came on the way from South Carolina for this. And I wouldn't miss it for the world when we come to Connecticut. No matter where I've been in the world, this is the best seafood, the freshest, it is the best. What keeps those customers coming back? Well, when we first started out, our, our premise was that we were going to serve um, the freshest seafood we could get. We were going to serve very generous portions. We were going to have reasonable prices. And um, we were going to do it with cheerful service, cheerful and efficient and fast service. Uh, we made that pledge to our customers way back in 1979. We hopefully think that that's one of the reasons we continue to be busy and successful. We also have a wonderful staff, and obviously we couldn't do it without good people. We have a number of people that were, worked for us for the full 30 years, so we attribute a lot of our success to our great crew also. What would you say are your top food items? Well, our top th uh, three food items are probably, number one, our fishtail platter. That's sort of like a collection of the best of. And uh, on the fried seafood fishtail platter, that includes shrimp, fried clams, fried scallops, and fried fish. So that's probably our number one seller. We also, uh, people love the lobster roll. That's what, another one of our calling cards. We use uh, tail and claw meat, and it's sautéed in butter. So we serve it hot, and it's served on a toasted bun. So those are probably our two best sellers. What is your personal favorite dish at the restaurant? That hasn't changed in the 30 years. I'm, I'm still a shrimp fan, so I love the shrimp, whether it's baked stuff, whether it's uh, sauteed, you know, as uh, scampi or, or fried. So sometimes when I'm here with some out-of-town friends and I'm actually sitting here enjoying a full meal, it seems like I always go back to the fried shrimp. What makes your food different from other restaurants? Well, one thing that we do differently is everything is fresh, and if we go back there as we will, 
you'll see that the seafood is in its natural form. We don't buy it frozen or pre-breaded, or we don't bread it all in the morning. So when an order comes into the kitchen, for instance, for fried scallops, they actually look like scallops. They're sitting there on ice. And then what we do is we have um, our own unique batter. It's rather a heavy batter. So we batter the seafood to order. It's lightly coated then in a cracker meal coating. Then after it's fried, it's placed on the baker's paper, which also take, takes any of the cooking oil off of the food. So everything really comes out served to order, breaded and cooked when you order your seafood. And we think that that makes a big difference. If you want, we can go take a look in the kitchen and see how some of that's done. I'm here with John Wilson, the head manager of this location in Westbrook, Connecticut. And he's gonna prepare a lobster roll for us today. All right, All so. Right. So what we do is we take out the, the lobster. It's 100% uh, lobster. It's uh, tail meat and claw meat. We put that into a, a heated saute pan with some uh, melted clarified butter. All right, that's already, already cooked, so all we need to do is warm that up. And it only takes about it only takes about 30 seconds or so, so that you know maybe, maybe up to up to a minute depending on how warm the the pan is. And uh, the lobster's already cooked, that's why you don't want to heat it up too much because it'll get very tough and rubbery. Right. Now this goes on to a, a toasted roll. Or yeah, it'll go on to a toasted buttered roll. in the toaster now, so. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so the roll gets buttered. And then all the lobster goes into the, into the roll. Finish it off with some of that butter on there, keep it good and juicy. And that's it. Wow, all right. That looks good. Very good. So now we're gonna make the uh, scallops platter. Yep, so what we do is we take the uh, the sea scallops. They're, they're a dry sea scallop, which means they haven't been soaked with water, so they're, you get a good, good true weight on them and they don't bleed a lot of a lot of juice out keeps the batter nice and, and juicy but we have a two-step process here we use a batter and then we uh, cracker meal and what the cracker the batter and the cracker meal do is it makes a nice seal on the scallop and it seals in the when it's in the fryers it seals in the juices of the uh, of the scallop so the scalp will actually steam inside and the oil it's just the heat from the oil that cooks the scallops. Yeah. So they go into a fryer, it's about 350 degrees. They'll get a nice coat, nice crispy coating on the outside. And they take about two or three minutes in the fryer to, to cook. And we drain all the seafood on that. Well, all the food on baker's paper, that gets a lot of the grease off of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of places don't do that, they'll take it right from the fryer and and put it right on the plate. You'll get like a puddle of grease on the, yeah. the plate. So. so what we do is take them out, and we shake as much grease off as we can here. And they go onto the uh, baker's paper. Shake them up. You can put that on the plate for a The option. Get a little <laughs> bit healthier. Yeah. And it gets plated up. 